All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about figures and images. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to take an external image and put it into LaTeX. So for the purpose of this, I have this picture of a cute little kitten. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to we're going to show you how to get this into your LaTeX document. OK, so we're going to do this using the figure environment. Now, figure is a general environment where you can put, you know, the networks that we are creating or the tables that we were creating. And it allows you to sort of determine where they are, where the text flows around them uh, and so on and so forth. It also allows you to scale things. And uh, so it's a useful environment. And uh, now we're going to we're going to use it uh, specifically for this purpose. But in, um, then I'm going to show you how some also some cool things you can do with it. Okay, so let's just start by first uh, making sure everything's centered. So within the figure environment, you don't have to do uh, begin center and center again. You can just use the command backslash centering uh, to get your thing centered. Um, okay, and so we want to in include, we want to put the picture of this kitten uh, uh, into my tech doc, uh, file. Okay, so uh, include graphics. And uh, we, we, okay, so include graphics. Now the name of the document is kitten.jpg. Okay, and so as you may uh, expect, if I just try to do this, uh, we're gonna have a problem, kitten.jpg not found, okay? So the way to do this is I say to myself, my tutorial 12 is saved into this untitled folder Okay, so it's down here, tutorial 12. Whatever folder this is in, as long as the image is in that folder, you don't need to specify anything else. Okay, so I just put that image uh, into that folder, and there you go. Now we have the picture here. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Now, if I want, um, okay, maybe I want to use, uh, maybe I want to change the, the width of the, the, change the size of this picture. Okay, so it's very simple. You just use the options. So again, usually op options are in these uh, square brackets. Uh, I mean, I don't expect anybody to 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 under to know this intuitively, but uh, just to give you an idea, when you start to look up these things online, you say, "How can I uh, uh, adjust the size of my my picture?" Um, you know, you'll look at the code that they provide you, the example. And you'll understand. Okay, this must be an option where I'm changing the width. Uh, I'm changing the the size of the picture. I'm scaling it. Okay, so now we have it scaled. Um, so okay, for for what what um, continuing from here, we're going to be you're going to be needing these two packages. Okay, so what I suggest is be you know in the past few videos, you know we used the teeks package, the uh, x color package. Um, what I suggest is that you just every time you use a new package, you you sort of create a template, right? Save a file and always you know keep the same packages in that file because uh, you know that way you'll never be missing anything you know given that you know you know how to do certain things with certain packages you should always just put the packages in usually there won't be a conflict if there is a conflict uh, you'll figure it out you can just delete package by package um, the only conflict I ever have is with the colors okay so once we have the caption package we can make a caption now okay so it's very simple and so figure one kitten okay there's a way to customize this to customize the numbering to get rid of figure one altogether um, I'll leave you to, to, to discover how to do that on your own uh, now another cool feature is that uh, you can label this so what I mean by this I, I find this very useful uh, in my work okay so I'm gonna give it the label kitten Okay, everything worked well. And then let's say we start to type. Okay, so in this document, I will show you how to. See, for example, figure. And now I can reference based on the label. So I give it the label. Uh, I give it the label kitten, 
and now I can reference this, right? So if I make another, let's say, let's call this kitten two, right? So, I mean, because in large documents, like the papers that I write, you know, I'll have many figures and I'll be referencing all these figures, but the issue is, as soon as, when you, when you oh, sorry, when you see this, you just uh, compile again, uh, it takes twice. If, if the figure comes before, you know, it has some sort of memory and, and you have to, when you compile the second time it'll work. But if you have met, so back to what I was saying, if you have many figures, um, uh, if you add another one, the, you know, the numbering will change. So unless you, re you label and reference in this way, uh, you risk the threat of completely, uh, you know, having to go through an entire 60 page document and, and, and make sure that all the references you made to figure one are now made to figure two instead, okay? So this will save you a lot of time uh, and a lot of energy in this way.